Hey guys, my name is Ali and I am a data and analytics consultant. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a short walkthrough of a Power BI sales dashboard designed to support day-to-day -day sales management. The dashboard combines role-based KPIs, a clean best practice layout, and AI-generated summaries to help sales reps, leaders, and coaches focus on what matters whether that's pipeline follow-up, coaching opportunities, or performance trends. The goal is simple, clarity, context, and action all in one place. Let's take a look. So here you guys can see the sales example dashboard that we're gonna walk through. Um, the first page is just a little bit of information. So when you go to the link, you can, you can read up a little bit if you want to do that, but let's just jump straight into it. If I go to the first page, this page, this is the executive summary. And my goal here has been to create a page where you can go in and you can get an oversight of, of the, the region or the team or at whatever level it is that you are managing. This is something you figure out what level should this be at and then you try and create a layout which shows that. So if we just look around on the top, you have some navigation for time. On the left, you can select a region, you can select a team. We have some of the main KPIs like revenue, the target, variance. Um, percentage of target, etc. We have revenue by region, revenue and target again, and revenue versus target in percentage over time. And then we have a pivot table with some important KPIs. How you shape this, how you, you know, which KPIs do you decide to use? What do you visualize? How do you do it? That's something that you need to adjust depending on, uh, on the focus and the use case and how you want to do it. This is just an example. Um, but that means we can go in, we can select one region like uh, Stavanger, or you can select Oslo, and then you see what does the data look like for that region. We can go in, we can select one month. You see we have some colors, we have some percentages. Um, we can open the pivot table. We have the revenue performance. Some of these metrics are related to that. We have some pipeline health, forecasting efficiency, etc. Just another example of an executive summary and what it could look like in, uh, in Power BI. I've added this box here, which says executive insight. I'm not gonna read it now, but what it is, it's basically a, a AI generated text where you can give some input on what you want the text to cover or focus on, and then summarizes that. So it, it picks some of the KPIs, it gives you know some result-based information, and then it can say something about what should you do next. So I'm trying to mix, uh, qualitative data, quantitative, quantitative data, some, some colors and, and indicators to, to create a good executive summary. Um, if we take off our uh, selections and then we go to the next page, um, what we do now is we go on to another important focus area, which is pipeline performance. Again, you can go in, you can select one region, you can select one period. Let's look at May. Here you have the same principle, KPIs, I'm using some colors. Um, here we're looking at opportunities and how the, the combination of op, uh, op, uh, opportunity stages has been over time. Opportunity by stage here on the right side, how that's developing. And here we can go again from region down to salesperson. You click a region, you get a nice little executive insight summary on that. Again, something you can shape and control. Just an example from, uh, from my side. Um, if we then go to the next page, then we have something that focuses a little bit more specifically on um, the sales reps. So, so far we've had executive uh, kind of bird's view. Then we go into an important part of uh, pipeline and how are things looking in terms of what is going to make sure that we have enough to, to work off. Now we're a little bit more on the people that are doing the actual work and, and closing and, and trying to sell. So here you can see we have um, same different regions, but now you can go down to sales rep. Um, let's select one for the sake of it. Stavanger, we can see how the one sales rep there has developed over time. How is, um, how is she doing per some different KPIs? I've even added a status here on the right side, which is a calculated column based on some of these KPIs. Again, something you can decide. And down here we have a summary, which summarizes a little bit how um, her week has been, and the thought is that you go in, you select a week here, and then it summarizes something based on that. So, so there's different time periods you can follow also, depending on, depending on the role. So this one is a little bit more on the salesperson. 
Then we can go to the more proactive part, and that is if you have sales coaches, then you maybe want to give them something where they can identify how different sales reps are performing and then try and give a next step or some sort of indicator on what should we do. So what you see here is the win rate, uh, how good are we at winning um, our, our uh, opportunities and how much uh, activities per close, how much effort do we spend to close it. So that's the relationship between that. So you can see that uh, downright Kari Hansen has you know, a lot of activities but very low win rate so we definitely have to work on closing there. Um, and, and, and Simon, they have okay number of activities but low win rate and then you have Ula and Ingrid who are being very efficient. So just some, some stuff there which I think could be nice for a sales coach. And then you have here on the right side you can see who are best at getting in more um, uh, potential revenue into their pipeline and then how are they performing um, also. Um, so basically are you good at getting new business and uh, how good are you at also at closing or, or performing against your, your target. Um, so those are just some perspectives that I created for a sales coach to, to show that. Um, there's a target line, there's some colors, you can, you can play around with that. And down here we have um, some of the same KPIs that we have on the other pages, but with a little bit different indicators. And then there's a next step, which is in this case a coaching next step. Um, so here I didn't add like an insight summary, I added a next step. Um, so if we then go back and we summarize a little bit quickly, we have an introduction page, I have introduced a report, here you can add information about the report that, that you want to create. You have an executive summary, take a look at this one, pipeline performance, to, to, so if we think then overview, how is it going with our pipeline, our sales reps, how are they doing, how are we going to make them better. Um, different perspectives, um, same KPIs. Um, so you can take a look, play around, maybe you find some inspiration, some good ideas for the next time that you're going to create a report which is related to sales. That was a quick look at the sales dashboard and how it's designed to support meaningful follow-up and better sales conversations. And if you want to explore the dashboard yourself, then there's a description in the link where you can go in, you can click around and try it out. If you're leading sales reporting or analytics initiatives and you want some input on reporting structure, strategic alignment, scalable data models or user adoption, then feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to connect and discuss further on those topics. And thank you guys so much for watching.